Hello and a very good day to Dr. Isa. My name is Keith Davis and alongside with my group mate, Cheryl Noor Haziani and Muhammad Kairil Hanafi. Today, we will discuss about one of the famous organometallic scientists, which is Richard R. Schrock. Richard Roy Schrock, or well known as Richard R. Schrock, was born on 4 January 1945. He was born in Bern, Indiana, United States of America. He is the third son of Noah J. Schock and Martha A. Heberger. He was married to Nancy Carson in 1971 and he has two child, which is Andrew Schock and Eric Schock. Early education He went to Mission Bay High School in San Diego, California. Then he received his bachelor degree in nineteen sixty seven from the uni university study University of California at Riverside. He attended Harvard University, from which he received his PhD degree in inorganic chemistry in nineteen seventy one, which he was awarded in nineteen seventy two as a student of J. A. Osborne. He spent one year as an NSF postdoctoral fellow at Cambridge University, working in a group of Lord Jack Lewis. He spent three years doing research at E.I. DuPont, Dernie Morse, and Core. Now we will talk about Richard R. Schrock academic achievements. Professor Richard R. Schrock is a chemist known worldwide in organometallic chemistry for his groundbreaking studies. He was well known as the first scientist in the world to elucidate the structure and mechanism of so-called black box olefin metathesis catalyst. His interests include the inorganic and organometallic chemistry of high oxidation state early metal complexes, especially those that contain an alkylidin ligand, catalytic reaction and mechanisms of reactions involving alkylidin complexes, especially olefin metathesis reactions, the chemistry of high oxidation state dinitrogen and relative complexes, and lastly, the control synthesis of polymers prepared using well defined organometallic initiators. His accomplishments also including for discovering of high oxidation state carbon, or known as alkylidin complexes, by abstraction of alpha hydrogen in high oxidation alkyl metal complexes. He also applied alkylidin chemistry to control polymerization of cyclic olefins through ring opening metathesis polymerization, ROMP, for the last several decades. Next, he's also been researching the catalytic reduction of dinitrogen at room temperature and pressure by molybdenum complexes. Next, his most current work is on synthesizing and applying new catalysts for olefin metathesis in Z for selective olefin metathesis reaction. Thus, uh, through all this hard work over the past decades, his research were acknowledged and had won numerous awards. The most remarkable achievement received by Professor Richard R. Schrock is the Nobel Prize Chemistry in 2005 with an affiliation with Massachusetts Institution of Technology, MIT, Cambridge, um, United States of America, for the development of the metathesis in organic synthesis. Metathesis is a significant type of chemical reaction when the organic substances are assembled or synthesized. Double bonds between carbon atoms in metathesis are broken and reorganized at the same time as atomic groups as atomic groups change location.
Professor Richard R. Schrock managed to produce a metallic compound in 1990, which successfully facilitates metathesis. Metathesis has allowed manufacturing to have more sustainable and environmentally noise process. There are several awards and honors received by Professor Richard R. Schrock. Aside from Nobel Prizes, Professor R. Schrock has received from the ACS Award in Organometallic Chemistry in 1985, the Alexander Von Humboldt Award in 1995, the ACS Awards in Inorganic Chemistry 1996, and the August Wilhelm von Hoffmann Medal in 2005. In addition, he received Humboldt Research Award also in uh, 1975. He also has been named the recipient of the 2017 to 2018 James R. Killian Jr. Faculty Achievement Award for his pioneering research in inorganic and organometallic chemistry. His other accomplishments are uh, including in 1990 where he, is, he was the first chemist to establish a catalyst that could perform this uh, the reaction without the need for volatile reagents. His catalyst, which contain the metal molybdenum, can achieve metathesis instantaneously and under mild conditions. In other research, um, in 2003, Professor R. Schrock was the first to perform the catalytic production of ammonia from nitrogen gas under the mild conditions. It has been said that the advancement of such processes has the has greatly enhanced the capability for productive small-scale farming in the trying to develop world by creating a method for making molecular nitrogen fertilizer in air. In addition for his awards, he received the, the Bailar Medal from the University of Illinois in 1998 and SES Cope Scholar Award in 2001, the F. Albert Cotton Award in Synthetic Inorganic Chemistry 2006, Theodore Richards Medal from the Northeast ACS Section in 2006, Basolo Medal from the Chicago ACS Section in 2007, and Paracelsus Prize from the Swiss Chemical Society in 2004. Last but not least, um, he received, he also received um, honorary degrees from the Universities of Zaragoza, Arenis, Achen, and St. Andrews. Also, he also has been elected to the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, the National Academy of Sciences, and the, and the Royal Society of London. Last but not least, he, um, Professor Schrock has been an eight-year associate editor of Organometallics and already published more than 600 research papers and supervised over 190 PhD students and postdoctorates. He also is a professor of chemistry emeritus at MIT and chair of chemistry at the University of California, Riverside, at the distinguished professor and George K. Halkem founder. Next, his famous organometallic works. Richard Arsh has produced many paperwork, which is the detection of the ethyl ketene and enol crotonaldehyde in the vapor phase photolysis of trans crotonaldehyde, and also his paper on red constant ratio during nitrogenide photolysis. For the detection of ethyl ketene and enol crotonaldehyde in vapor phase photolysis of trans crotonaldehyde, the paper is where when the research is where when he was in the University of California.
Next, is the red constant ratio during nitrogen dioxide fertilization. He studies about the nitrogen dioxide where the this nitrogen dioxide is the, the light is over in the hydrocarbon system leading to production of pet photochemical air pollution. His study of this reaction are involved a based on the kinetic of nitrogen dioxide photolysis and the value of the red constant derived therefrom. The photolysis of nitrogen dioxide was investigated in 2 to 20 ppm concentration range. The value of bimolecular rates concern of the reaction between oxygen atom and nitrogen atom dioxide was calculated to be 5.26 times 10 power of 31 mole per second and the intermolecular rate constant of reaction between oxygen atom and nitrogen dioxide in present of the third body is 4.24 times 10 power of negative 10 mole per second and the rate constant for the reaction between oxygen atom and the nitric oxide in the present of the third body was calculated to be 2.31 times 10 power 10 so mole per second during his study of nitrogen nitrogen oxide fertilizers nitrogen oxide and nitrogen was used as the third body in terms of order magnitude of this calculated rate constant are similar to previously report value however during his study in certain cases they lead to oxygen atom Consideration which is 100% greater than previously calculated. Next is this key discover new alkali dye complexes in 1973. Monoclear metal alkali complex play an essential role as the intermediate in a several catalytic process such as olefin metasis cyclopropanation and polymerization, hydrocarbon isomerization, and also CO reduction by hydrogen and the Clemenson's reduction. Equally, they are quite useful in organic synthesis, mainly in carbonyl alkylation, alkylation which is wheating reaction, and activate olefin cyclopropanation. A number of these compounds involving a variety of transition metal has been obtained by a series of somewhat interesting reactions during his study in 1973. Not to forget, he was awarded for the Nobel Prize in the Chemistry in 2005 for the development of the Metasis method in organic synthesis. His interest, including organic metallic of high oxidation state, early metal complex, this is which where this is especially that the content of alkalidine ligand, and he also interest in a catalytic reaction and mechanism of reaction involving alkalidine complexes, especially. Olefin metasis reaction. The chemistry of the high oxidation oxidation state denitrogen and related complex and also the control synthesis of polymers prepared using well defined organometallic initiators. He is perhaps best known for his discovery of high oxidation state carbene, which is this alkylidine complexes by alpha hydrogen abstraction in high oxidation state metal alkyl complexes. In other years, he has applied alkylidine chemistry toward the controlled polymerization of cyclic olefin via opening metasis polymerization are 
O M P. He also has been studying the catalytic reduction of denitrogen by molybdenum complexes at room temperature and pressure. His most recent focus is on the synthesis and application of new olefin metastasis catalysts for C-selective olefin metastasis reaction. That's all from us. Thank you.